I am Anil Kumar and now I will discuss with you how to describe the transformations of logarithmic function, how to find its domain range x intercept, y intercept and sketch a logarithmic function which is kind of complicated and at times students may not get it right in their test. Now let us look into this function in details. This question is from a test paper and says describe all the transformations and then graph y equals to half of log 3 of minus 0 0.5 x plus 2 plus 4. So let us rewrite this function in the correct way so that we can easily identify the transformations. It is given to us as half of log to the base 3 is factor out minus half. Then we get x minus 4. 2 divided by minus half plus 4. Now once you write in this form it's very easy to write transformations. So from here let's write down the transformations. So transformations should be written in a particular order. You should do multiplication that is stretches and compressions and reflection first and then the translation. So if we begin from left to right we always get the right order. So half here signify vertical compression correct vertical compression by a factor of factor since we are multiplying right factor of half and then minus means reflection on y axis correct and then half means it is horizontal compression or stretch or it is horizontal stretch by a factor of 2 and then translation of uh, we can write translation of 4 units right that's horizontal 4 units right and 4 units so these are the transformations. Once we understand the transformations, it's easy to discuss how to graph the function. Well, in one part of this video, we already calculated x and y intercepts. So let me write down those values here. We found that the x intercept is, is very close to 4. It is around 3.99 and the y intercept for this function is 4.3. So these values you can check in another part of the video for which the link is provided. Okay. Now let's describe, uh, we have already described the transformations. And now how to plot this? One way to plot the function is to go through transformations. So what we will do here is we'll make table of values. So in this table we'll take up uh, values for log 3 of x and then f of x which is the transform function. Now in log 3 of x uh, let us say the points are x and y. How are they getting transformed in this function? The x points are getting multiplied by negative since it's a reflection on y axis and times 2. So we do negative 2 times x value and then you add 4. So that is how the x values get transformed and about the y values we are multiplying them by half and then we add 4 to get the y values, correct? So that is how we get x and y values. Now the question is, what x and y values should we consider? When the base is 3, then good values to consider will be, if you take 3 as such as the base, then for log 3 of 3, you will get 1, right? So for log 3 of 3, it will be 1. And you know log 1 of any function is always 0. We could take uh, 1 over 3. That means 1 over 3 will get minus 1 for log 3 of 1 over 3. Similarly, 3 square is 9. So log 3 of 9 will be 2. So these are good values to, to check. Correct. So let's consider these values and see what happens to their transformation. Now one more important value is the vertical asymptote. So let me write down vertical asymptote at the end. So we say vertical asymptote for this graph will be x equals to 0. 
Now the vertical asymptote for the transform function, since it moves four units to the right, will be at x equals to four. So we can draw a vertical asymptote at four here, and that is the vertical asymptote for our transformed function. So that is the vertical asymptote. Okay. Now this vertical asymptote is at x equals to four. Now let's calculate these values. So one third will be minus two over three plus four, right? So minus two over three plus four is the x value when you use one third. So minus two over three plus four. Let's let's use the calculator. Okay. So minus two. We can say four minus two divided by three. Right, so that is the x value ten over three, which is approximately three point three. So this value, x value is three point three. The y value will be half of minus one, which is minus point five. So it will be three point five. Correct. So that becomes the transform point for the first point. One half is one times minus two is minus two. Minus two plus four is two. Zero times so we get four here. For three, we get three over three times two is minus six. Minus six plus two is minus two, and then one times half is point five, so we get four point five. If I use nine, nine times two is minus eighteen. Minus eighteen plus four is minus fourteen. Two times half is one, and four plus one is five. So these are the transform points. Let's plot these points. So we have. 3.3, 3.5. So 3.3 is approximately 3 is here, 3.3 is here, 3.5 is 3. Kind of here, right? So very close to the vertical asymptote. Then we have 2, 4. So at x equals to 2, we have 4. Okay. Now at x equals to minus 2, 4.5. So this is 4. That is minus 2. 4.5 is kind of here. And at Minus 14, we have 5. So 12, 13, 14, the value is 5. So 4 and 1, 5. So kind of here, right? So that these are the points. Plus, we also found that the x-intercept is extremely close to 4, and y-intercept is slightly more. So that actually works out. So let's join these points, right? So these points, if you join like this, kind of. Do you see that? How I'm joining them? So it's very steep here. Indeed, very very close to vertical asymptote, and goes like this. So that becomes the graph for our function. Correct. Now, as I am telling you, the x-intercepts and y-intercepts are calculated in another part of the video. So that gives us this point and this point, right? Which is 4.3 here, and that point is 3.9. So that is how you can draw a neat sketch of logarithmic functions. Correct. I hope that really helps you to bring everything together. Thank you and all the best for your exams.